Hello, hello, and welcome to episode three of our Create Super Flat Survival Mod Pack playthrough. Hope today's going swell and well for you so far. As for me, it's uh, been a bit of a grind. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, let's dive into another episode. <laughs> So yes, I've discovered it, a way where we don't actually need hoppers, and uh, honestly, I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner. So the andesite funnels from Create, which you can make just by using an andesite alloy and some dried kelp. Kelp we can buy from the shop, and I'll show you all that here in just a minute. Um, but these actually work as a hopper system, so they can dispense items, and they can uh, receive items, as you see down here. So the way that it works is if you right click on something normally, that will export. And if you shift right click, that'll import. You can tell because the arrow on the side, this sort of big gray arrow right there, right? So export, export, import. And um, yeah, this is basically it. You don't need an import on top of the millstone. If the chest and the funnel are kind of touching the millstone it'll only let one out at a time so it'll only let enough out that the the millstone can kind of handle so really ow, hey motherfucker i'm talking <laughs> really useful um and a whole whole lot cheaper because of course the andesite alloy you can get from zombie drops also i uh, had a bit of misinformation so it is the zombie villagers where iron has been increased that being said, vanilla zombies at their base do have a chance of dropping iron, but it is about a 1% chance, which kind of lines up with what we've been um, experiencing so far. So it all makes sense. Um, but yeah, zombies will still drop iron. It's just uh, closer to like I said, 1% instead of like a 5% or whatever it was. So. That being said, this is working on some gravel and we have made quite a lot of money because obviously I can just throw cobblestone in here now and then it turns into gravel over time and then I can throw the gravel back in the top and get several stacks of flint while I uh, chop down trees and do whatever. Uh, speaking of trees, I tried chopping them and just seeing how many saplings I would get if I just let all of them um, fall naturally, you know, didn't didn't chop the leaves and I actually didn't even get enough to replace all of it as far as oak goes and I got way more cherry saplings than what I thought I would so yeah I mean it kind of worked kind of didn't I was really hoping to get more oak saplings than I did but uh, it is what it is also I'm not really not really gonna chop down the leaves anymore because while it does make good money it's such a long and tedious process and now that I have flint and that makes so much more money um, I just don't, I don't feel like it. So, if you're like, hey Chance, why aren't you chopping leaves? Well, that's why I just, uh, I don't wanna. I don't have to, so I don't wanna. We can make a lot of money from flip, as I've just realized. <laughs> um, the last trade that I did, I made about a thousand dollars, and it was like six stacks or something like that, so... We'll see, because I just had six stacks running through there, so before the end of the episode, we'll definitely see what that, uh what that produces. I think that should be all the wood there. So we are gonna let these fall into saplings and hopefully it'll be enough to actually recuperate this time. And we're gonna go take a look at the shop once these trees stop growing. I just don't want them to get super overgrown because then that happens and I take forever to chop them down because you're like, wow, that's a lot of trees. I don't wanna chop all those. But if I do it as they pop up, then I'm more likely to actually do it. Anyways. Down here at 100 bucks, you can see the kelp. I'm not gonna buy this because we don't need it, but once you buy one piece and you have some bone mill, you can set up something kind of like this. You can drop in there and bone mill it if you want expediated growth, or you can just wait for it to grow and then, you know, just chop, chop the second piece up because then this will regrow and you can get more and more and more, right? And we can automate this, but honestly, you only need one piece for uh, for the tunnel or funnel. What is it? Funnel? 
There are tunnels as well, so don't get confused. There's an andesite tunnel. That's not what this is. This is an andesite funnel with an F. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cheap recipe, and obviously we have plenty of kelp. So, all that being said, I did still make a hopper, but this is more so due to um, sheer stubbornness on my own part. <laughs> A lot of y'all pointed out last time we can move the lava and we can move the water here um, And this is true, but my my opinion on it and my uh, My ideaism is we're going to wait until we build a new base on up here Which I shouldn't climb up there quite yet, which we will start part of today. That's why I have some um, special logs and Managed to get the chipped carpenter bench, which it does um, It's it's not cheap right because it requires iron so it's a little costly but it's okay and eventually i want to get the mason table but this requires two iron and some clay which we don't quite have access to yet so uh yeah we'll get there but basically what this allows you to do is take your wood and transform it into several different patterns i guess um and you can use this for base building so we have cherry and we have oak um you can also do the logs actually right and i actually really like these cherry logs this one especially and that, you know what? These all just look pretty, pretty good. I think I'm gonna do, well, I uh, want some more logs before I do that, but yeah, that's that's probably gonna, oh, fuck it. <laughs> you can always change it back too. So if you're like, oh, well, I need those cherry logs, you can come back in the aircraft and now they can be broken back down into planks and whatever. But let's go back to, I think I like this mixed one a little bit better. It has kind of more variety there in it. Any hoosers, so that's basically all that's happened in between episodes. Um, I did extend this out a couple more because I had three millstones on here, and then I was like, well, I figured out a way to automate two, so that's that's really fine. That's probably all that's in there because I probably picked up the rest of it. And if that one's done, yeah, this one should also be done. Cool. Okay, so let's see how many sacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do four in each of these. So there's four for that one. And there's four in that one. So that'll be eight stacks of um, flint total for us whenever that's all said and done. Which, again, should be before the end of this episode. Actually should be relatively quick here. But somebody had pointed out a comment, and that's that if we go up to above Y level 40, slums no longer spawn because they don't spawn above that limit. Uh, I am going to double check and make sure it's still that way just to, you know cover myself because I'd, I'd hate to be wrong about it and build an entire platform slash base up there and it doesn't even serve the purpose that I wanted it to serve but um that sounds like a really really fantastic idea to do so that's uh what we will shoot for I'm not going to place any more saplings down because I'm probably not going to mine the rest of these trees right now I know that's not exactly a fun video to watch just punching trees right Unless you can do it in a cool fashion, which really we can't do right now. So long story short, cobblestone automated, flint fairly automated, and a lot cheaper than buying all the iron for, um, you know, a hopper. So there's that all said and done. Let me go ahead and we're going to look up the slime stuff and then we will uh, continue onward and forward. So... Okay, so yes, indeed it is level 40, so that's going to be, well, honestly, pretty close to our mob farm up there. But I say we go ahead and climb on up there, but first, there is something that I've added to the pack and also something I want to do. So you'll see we have $4,000 over here, which is um, quite a bit, but in order to make things easier on us, I'm going to go ahead and deposit $1,000. we are way over capacity, but that's okay come down here and we're going to buy the intermediate wallet which has a balance of 10,000 so that should be a lot comfier of a room for us to interact with bigger pockets yep that's what you like to see I'm going to open this one we're going to put all that cash away let's um hit O and let's withdraw all of our money so we can't withdraw a thousand so let's do 800s that um we need a seven dollars hold on okay um we need that and three pennies okay so that's all of our money out of this wallet let's go ahead and move this put our intermediate wallet over there hit o 
And now we should be able to deposit all this cash in here. And go get our thousands and deposit those as well. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll leave the basic wallet here. And um, yeah, now let's go check on the flint. We only have one stack left to go in each of them. That's pretty quick. I've not actually like kept an eye on it while it processed. Most of the time I just throw it in there, walk away, get distracted, come back. Oh, it's done. Cool. Um, so yeah, that does work pretty quickly there, especially for how much money it's going to end up making us. And that brings me on into what will hopefully be the mechanical importer and exporter. But something else that I did add to the pack um, after, you know, consulting you guys and gals is... Actually, I don't think I needed nine because I already, yeah, I already had five. Whoops. That's fun. <laughs> is the building one. So we're going to go ahead and make an iron one. I know it's pretty expensive. You can make a cobblestone one, but um, I'm going to go build a base. So I kind of want to want to have everything I need, right? So that's plenty of that. Probably we'll need some more cherry wood. And honestly, we'll probably go ahead and make some more oak as well because I always do more than I think I'm going to do. Here's the rest of that. And all this. This. Craft all. Craft all. Oop. What is this? Hair bone? So it didn't actually change it. Oop. Double hair bone. No, it was single. There we are. And this is oak plank mosaic. There we go. Alright, so hopefully this pattern looks good together. Most of the time I test it out before uh, just running it. Are those both done already? Uh, working on the last little stack. Okay, so we'll wait a little bit just so we can go ahead and get our money before running up top. Let's see how much cobblestone we have. A couple stacks, so that's that's not too shabby, honestly. For everything being fully automated, we're on episode three. Um, I, I liked that. I like the fact that there's not a huge barrier to entry to, to automation with packs. Y'all know that's uh, one of my more favorite things. Of course, I've played packs like Gravitas in the past, not that I finished it, but it was still a fun adventure. I just don't want 50 hours until automation. Right, so I'm not going to chop those trees. Obviously, our farm is growing to the point where I don't even usually harvest it because it's, it's I mean, it's beetroot, you know? I got, I got potatoes. You're trying to sell me beetroots, and I got potatoes. So hopefully those will be done soon. You know what? Let's just grab what we got. You'll you'll get the general idea because this is still going to be a uh, crap ton of money. So this is let's see one two three four five stacks one two six seven stacks plus a little bit, and it's going to give us seventeen hundred twenty five dollars. So pretty nifty. And of course, you can just take the cobblestone, go throw it right back into the system. So we go one, two, three, four, seven. Uh, we'll take six. That'll be three for each. And that'll leave me some cobblestone behind, right? So one, two, three. And can I reach that chest? One, two, three. And then it just starts the process again. And here in just a little bit, we'll have another thousand bucks. So, or almost two thousand, really. Yeah, it's really nice, really easy, and uh, makes a lot of money, which is why now I don't really mind spending the money so much, and why I don't mind being able to come in here and buy some more lava, which we will do here in just a bit. Also, I didn't realize, but there is pointed dripstone, so that is actually a good way to make infinite lava, or it's a way. I'm not going to say it's good, it's, but it, it works. You know, you can do it. Um, also, blaze rod. I didn't realize you can buy a blaze rod from the shop. And if anybody knows what the biome beans do, that would be greatly appreciated as well, because I'm not familiar with that um, that mod, really. So, let's head on up. And what did I say? Y40? We'll probably go up just a little bit from that. So, do, do, do. And really, if I built it all the way up at the mob farm platform, then the mob farm would just constantly run. We wouldn't have to worry about slums. And, you know, we could build our base. So maybe that's what we do. Maybe did we just use the mob spawn platform. How far up are we? I guess it doesn't matter because slums can't spawn, right? Or they might be able to. They might be able to spawn on the platform. Hopefully we're above 40. We got to be, right? We're at 30 now. 35 yeah okay just just a smidgen are we at 60 good golly 
if you don't know, I'm looking at the top right um, near the mini map. It tells you your coordinates. So there we go. Uh, Y68. So definitely, definitely tall enough. Um, we need to fix this because that's what's up with that, you know? Oh, and I should put a... Well, I do have that water spot there. Also, if you're wondering about my experience, um, yeah, Dodd. <laughs> Fell asleep at the computer and uh, just walked right off. That wasn't even that long ago. I think that was today. It was just, you know, it's like lunchtime. Anyways, um, it, it happens to the best of us. Eat a good meal, come sit down. I can probably make that drop. Let's see. So how do I want to do this? To where I'm not so close that I got to listen to this. And if I want to expand it, I can. I'm going this way, so that'll expand that way. So maybe I just go this way with the base. Uh, sure. So let's go... Two, three, four. Chucks, it is getting to be nighttime. All right. Well, I really hope I hit this. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, was that good for my anxiety? I, who knows? It was a fun little test. All right, and sun touches the horizon. That means it's nighttime. That is a cool mechanic. I don't know if they planned that on purpose, but the sun does, like, perfectly touch the horizon over there whenever it's time to go to sleep. It really sucks because now I have to climb all the way back up there, but I didn't want it to be nighttime as I'm trying to build because yeah, that can be annoying. So there we go back up we go it's no worries although maybe i should have placed some water down what is it soul sand and water that allows you to make an elevator we'll probably do that before too long soul sand you can get from haunting sand but i guess you need soul sand in the beginning in order to haunt the sand right maybe that'll be something we look into how we can get some soul sand and should definitely check the shop because there's some things in there that i just I wasn't really expecting to be in there, so that's, I mean, obviously nice and uh, beneficial. Almost back to the top, and then we'll start building, uh, I guess, first a bridge. I wasn't really planning on building the bridge. I was just going to build a platform up here, but that's fine. We'll build a little way to get over. So shift. And my plan is just to use... I don't want this to be a huge bridge, though, because I want to use all my resources. Can I make it this big and it still look decent? Yeah, I think so. And I kind of like the little arrows pointing back. It's kind of blocky. I don't know if we have framed blocks in this pack. No, we don't. I didn't expect to. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we can extend that. And this. That, and this. Really, my bridge should all be the same thing, though. that make this, like, five million times easier. Do, 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 do. What if we just make this kind of a side addition to the base? That would be okay. Okay, so instead, we're going to change up what we're doing here. We'll have this be a piece. One, two, three, four. That's fine. Then we'll do three... Oh, man. I do hate this about the building wands. I can't, like, shift and scroll with them in my inventory. Or you gotta kind of do it, like, forward and backward. Alright, so we'll do that. And then, do I want to go ahead and go with more chunks or this? Let's go with this. Mm. Or do something kind of like that. Well, I really don't need it for this, I suppose. If it's just placing two blocks, it's like, I don't need to use the wand. It's whenever I'm placing, you know, obscene amounts that I really want to bust it out. That. Something like this kind of makes more sense. There you go. And then same thing over here, two off. We don't normally do building an episode, so I figured it might be a fun little change of pace for 
for y'all today. And we're only doing a light little bit of building. We're not really going to build probably what will be the main base here, but that's fine. And what was it, four? Yeah. Let's go. Four. One on the sides. And this will kind of be where we can branch out to do different um, setups. This way we have a centralized hub somewhere up here we can work with, play with, that kind of thing. Shoot. Mess that right up. Ah, uh, damn it. There we go. And last side here. Let's see. Three, four. Awesome. And then we'll do some other kind of connecting design here in the corner bits. And I don't know if I want to do just like a fence to keep us from walking off or do like an actual wall. Obviously, a, a fence is kind of cheaper on resources, so that might be a pretty large selling factor for us, honestly. And then what if I come back and do something like this, perhaps? Um... Oops. No, because I still feel like it needs to be ordered properly. No, that's okay. Okay, so what was it like? That, and then one in. Fuck, I keep hitting the wand. Sorry, excuse my language. Uh, oh, nope. Let's go back. And one all the way around. Except for here on the ends where it gets a twofer. Right? Is that correct? That doesn't feel correct. <laughs> that felt a whole lot simpler than what I did over here. Okay, so. Two. Oh, maybe it's just because I didn't have that. And. Oh, shit. And that. That looks correct. Okay. Does it show up on the map? Kind of. It's, it's hard to see with the claimed chunk. So if I unclaim it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks cool. Kind of looks like a reticle. Retic reticle? Reticle? <laughs> Sorry if I butchered that. Um, how much more do we have? Oh, we have plenty. Beautiful. I always worry that I'm not going to have enough building blocks and that my base ambitions are going to overtake my my actual uh, amount size, if that makes sense. Kind of eyes are bigger than my belly type, uh, type ordeal. Son of a bitch, how do I... Oh my goodness. You know what, building one, we're, we're doing some intricate building here. I just made you, I know I wanted to show you off, but you're kind of pissing me off a little bit, buddy. Okay, leave that there. That's one, two, three sides done. One left. And all the while we're doing this, our mob farm is working. This was a genius idea. Thank you to everyone that commented saying, hey, Chance, what are you doing still down in the hole? You silly goose, get the hell out of there. You gave me the inspiration to, to build this. Beautiful. Let's throw some torches down on this bad boy. Right there, 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 there. I will do some on the inside. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, now I just need to move my automation up here, move my chest up here. Oh, um, now I haven't actually checked this out because I, well, we're kind of a little bit of ways away from it. I also added Tom's simple storage. Feel about that however you want to. You... <laughs> There's a add-on mod that allows um, the storage terminal to work with the create vaults so you can actually see what's inside the vault um, so I figured that was really cool 
and I wanted to, to use that. And y'all know I really like having a storage and crafting system where everything's kind of connected. It doesn't have to be a refined storage. It doesn't have to be applied in energistics. Just, just Tom simple storage, something where I can like see all my items in one place. It's, it's just kind of a quality of life thing for me. Um, so I added that mod as well. Oh, we don't have any cobblestone on this. Honestly, I might, I might be making a wooden sword to deal with these, uh, Oh, wait a minute. Do I have... No, I don't even have any cobblestone in my backpack. Okay. Uh, what's that? Speaking of which, I died with my backpack on, and then whenever I respawned, it, I feel like it re-rolled the loot in my backpack because there was stuff in there that I don't remember dying with in it, you know? All right. Anyways, this is going to get kind of loud, so let's... Uh... Turn that down. Much better. Well, that's a lot of items. Beautiful. Something tells me I'm really going to enjoy this new setup and some more andesite alloy. Hey, we appreciate you. Thanks for coming out and stopping by, zombies. 74 bucks, certainly not too shabby either. All right, um, let's go on back down. You want to try and hit the, uh, the water hole again? I think that could be kind of fun. Now, my hypothesis is that if I fall from one block out, that would actually be perfect. No, wait, hold on. This is ladder. One to the left of the ladder is that. One to the left of that is that. Maybe I need to go out a little further. Let's see. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. Woo. Yeah, I'm still not really quite sure how that lines up, but it's okay because we made it. We are going to have to climb back up there, but not right now. <laughs> so my main goal, uh, more than likely, this will be an in-between episode kind of goal. It will be to move the cobblestone generator up and to move the gravel grinders and all this kind of stuff. All this up, basically. Tree farm, you know. Uh, but that's going to take some time. Uh, probably a lot of time, if I had imagine it. If I had to throw my wishes in the well, I would say it takes uh, a lot of time for that to happen. We're going to just recycle these right back in. So one, two, three. And two, three. Cool. That should be done in just a minute. And we'll have made another couple thousand dollars. So now let's see what can we really take advantage of here in the shop. Nuggets of experience. Emeralds. Oh, I didn't know you could buy emeralds from the shop. That would have been really useful for all those wandering traders. And again, this is not on the pack dev. This is on my own silliness, just not paying attention. Netherite fragments. So technically we have access to netherite. Oh goodness, big yawns. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Phantom membrane gas tier. I mean, I guess we're really getting into the point where we could start getting diamond stuff. But what I really want to do is the, I think it's the importer or it's the exporter. Which one? Whichever one, um, Mechanical exporter. This block will convert any item or block into money automatically. Yeah. So the exporter. So what I'll probably try and do is buy... What I want to do here is buy... Do, do, do. Scrolling in the shop is a little funky. That's what I'm realizing. Exporter. And buy an exporter manifest. I think that's the two things you need. So... And the way this this block will convert any... No, that's the import, sorry. Export. This block will convert any item or block into money automatically, provided it has an exporter manifest, and that item slash block can be sold. Okay, and then it needs also rotational power within itself. How can I do that here? Let me just place it down and see. Okay, so it's just right in the back. Uh, empty. Uh, right. Oh, okay, okay. And then would I just take a piece of flint here? And then could I... 
Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, what's this? Configuration up input. Oh, oh, wow. That's really nice. And redstone. Wow, my goodness. Max storage is a million dollars. Okay. All right. I, I, this is really, really in depth. So, how can I get my flint automatically into here? Well, from that one, it's like really difficult to. Well, you know what? We could take this down and then turn it. Okay, this is an idea. Let's see. Let's take. We need some large. Large cog wheels. And, well, let me see how many shafts we're going to need for this first. So. It's not giving me the little light like, extender thing. It's okay. For this, we will do. I need two of these. Let's go turn the wood back into normal wood. There's that. There's that. We will throw the cherry wood in here. Also, apparently, my shovel, because why not? And then let's make two, two of those. Oops. One will go right. Shoot. I'm exposed. I'm exposed. Stay back, you miscreants. Thou shalt not enter. Okay. Like that. And where the fuck did it just place that? I just randomly put it in there? Oh no, I put it back at the top. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. Get me out of here. Shit. Create does not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Create for some reason in, in this pack specifically is not. Not functioning the way it normally does. Oh my goodness, I have to go down one block. Such a such a goose sometimes. Such a goose. That, right? Beautiful. Okay. Don't interrupt the flow there, chance. Now let's try and do this again. Let me do it this way. There we go. Okay. Now I just need to break out. And we could obviously speed that up in the future there. But if I was to put that on there. 1.8... 1. 1.28% progress per tick. And it uses 64 RPM. But it's not overstressing the system. So we're not gonna... We're not gonna fuck with it. We're not gonna speed it up or nothing. So if I threw flint in there. Let's just say I took a stack and I just inserted it. That's gonna... That works too? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. That's really cool. Is there a decent way for me to get this here to there? I can go down. I can go down further. Um, but what I want to do if I'm going to do that is probably take this out. Put that in. How many ladders? We have nine ladders. We're going to start using these to do this. And I'm going to take a couple of these slabs and just try to extend our protection out one more okay so then if i was to take some andesite funnels which i have two here and go down let's see Where's my shovel did i put my shovel in my backpack no i think i dropped it off right okay so this works give me this back and the manifest cool what we need to do is probably keep going down with this Right, I don't have a shovel. So that'll be export from here. Export. Um, there's my shafts. There we go. One, two. Export, import, machine. Do that. So that should be right. 
Let's see. Oh, perfect, because we can't go down any lower. <laughs> well, this might just exactly work. Okay. And then it would be... Uh... That. Oh, fuck. Did I block myself in? I did. I have. I've done it. Let's do that. And that. And is this facing on the back now? Perfect. So, that should be perfectly fine and set up. We need a gearbox now. That'll be the final piece to all this. So, gear, gearbox, and it's like casing plus more cogwheels. So, let's do that for the shafts. And we might have had just enough andesite alloy here. Unless do I have some more left over somewhere else? Oh, all right, cool. Just enough. That. Um, then I need, what, four of these? Two, three, four. And crafting gearbox. Bam. I need funnels. And that should be it, I think. Cool. So that's the turn in. Has the manifest. I think it's shift goes in, right? Shift goes in. And now we basically only want this one to process flint. So now if I put that on the side, flint's going in and being sold and money. And now does this money up? Oh, yeah, it does. Wow, right on. So we don't even have to... Uh... That's really useful. So I should really just throw this bit right back in there. Eventually, this will fill up, and it'll it should hopefully slow down. Um, pulling out from here, but yeah, wow. Right on. So now all we have to do is really put some cobblestone up from here. Wow, but this is. <laughs> This is such a tower and a half. Is there, a, would there have been an easier way to do this? A less tall way to do this? I guess if I put this funnel on the side of this instead of on the bottom, right? That would work. At least condense some of it. But you always have to have the end coming in from the top if you don't have conveyors because there's no way to like push it in, I don't think. Maybe with a piston or something complicated, but yeah, so you always have to have that on the top, so. We could have at least shortened it by one, by one block here. That's still a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tall automation things. So we'll have to keep that in mind whenever we move it up top, right? Because we want to, we want it to look good whenever it goes up, not to uh, not be still a shambling mess. I think having a shambling mess on episode three is still perfectly fine, given we're making a ton of progress as far as, you know, we have automatic money now. All we have to do is come take cobblestone from our auto cobble gin here, which it's going very fast. Um, maybe not very fast, okay, but it's going fast enough. And then we come to this side. This is where we will always insert cobble. We'll get our um, gravel out eventually. And this will... Flint can just go on down and be sold. Of course, we could have just went and sold it anyways. Um, and then we'll throw gravel up on this shelf, right? So cobble, gravel. Theoretically, if we had pipes, we could pipe it up or whatever. But it's perfectly fine that we have to move it over, especially since we're about to move the whole system. For now, that'll just be a nifty way for me to get more and more money, of course. So let's see here. Let's... Deposit all that we have. Um, we did do some base building up top, and we got auto money. Honestly, let's see how much how much have we made in just this short little bit. I'm wondering, hundred, fifty, ten, quite a little bit. All right, right on. We're gonna throw that back in there and just let it keep doing its own thing there. So, very set it and forget it. Now, if I wanted to, I could go up and mine. Um, some mob farm stuff. I could go work on the base. Of course, since this chunk is, um, hard chunk loaded. Whoops, wrong one. Since this 
chunk here is hard chunk loaded, force chunked, whatever you want to call it. Um, it'll it'll just keep working no matter where we are in this world. So I could go a million blocks away. <clears throat> excuse me, pardon me, and it'll still work all the same. So I think uh, I think that is a pretty good spot for us to call it here in episode three. And in episode four, we'll probably be up in the sky, which is kind of weird because this is a super flat world. So it's like we're taking a super flat world and making it into a sky block almost. But we'll still use the ground surface for various things. I'll probably section off a large portion and then have like different tree farms down here. That's what I'm thinking, because I don't want to put tree farms up in the sky. It's really, really not... Um, my cup of tea to build big platforms like what I have behind me. I did this one out of necessity, but if we don't require it, then well, I probably won't do it. We'll, we'll figure out something down here on the ground. Anyways, thanks again, everybody, for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If so, please be sure to leave a like down below. Comment in the comment section if you have any tips, tricks, or uh, tidbits that may be helpful or useful to me or anyone else out there. Of course, feel free to ask questions if you need any help with the pack or you just have, you know, general questions about life and whatnot. Subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more awesome content from yours truly. And, of course, share this out with friends, family, strangers down the street, and random people you might meet. As per the usual, I do hope you all stay safe, stay awesome, and stay crafting. Until next time, you beautiful, beautiful people, peace out.